time ago in the land called Ethiopia, there lived a righteous and saintly king by the name of Dashrath Maharaj. The king unfortunately had no sons. So by the grace of Rishya Shingamuni, the king performed a great sacrifice so he could beget some sons to rule the kingdom after him. In time, four powerful sons were born to the king's wives. They were named Rama, Lakshman, Bharat, and Shatrugan. They were all expenses of Lord Vishnu, the supreme personality of Godhead. Rama was especially loved by everyone. King Dashrath was really attached to Rama, who was endowed with all good qualities. The king saw his four sons grow into a handsome and mighty prince. One day, when Rama was 16, his father was explaining the history of his dynasty. So you see, my dear Rama and Lakshman, our dynasty comes down from the sun god himself. We have many great kings who have ruled our land. Of course, it was King Ishwaku who founded our city of Ayodhya. The sage Bhagiratha brought the celestial Ganges to this planet from the heavens to purify us. And then there was a noble and truthful king, Hari Chandra whose character is spotless. Hari Chandra was put into so many difficulties by the sage Vishwamitra, but he could not find any fault in him. In the end, Vishwamitra was extremely pleased with Hari Chandra. Bring him in immediately. Pranam, Vishwamitra. Welcome to Ayodhya. Your holy fleet bless our city. Our good fortune knows no bound due to your presence. Bring all the articles of worship for our respected guest. Bring food and refreshments quickly. Blessings to you, O King. May you live a long and noble life. But I would like you to forget all the formalities. Rama, Lakshman, pay your respects to Vishwamitra, who created a universe parallel to that of Lord Brahma's. Jai Gurudev. Blessings to you, dear Ram and Lakshman. I have come to make a request to Maharaj Dasharat. Tell me, what is your require? Name it and it shall be yours. Land, riches, men, wealth, whatever you require is at your disposal. The moment I am engaged in a fire sacrifice, but there are two very cruel demons named Mariti and Subahu who are causing great trouble. Because I am doing the ritual myself, I am forbidden to kill them and have no power against them. Certainly, I will help. I'll arrange my army to protect your ashram from those demons. Dear Maharaj, I do not need your whole humongous army to kill them. I just need one person who will surely help me. One person? But who? I request from you, your eldest son, Ram. Rama? Rama? No, no, no. Not my dear Rama. This is not possible. Do not take Rama away. He's just a mere boy of 16. His education is not even finished. Why? He has not been fully trained in archery. How can Rama kill them? Please, just allow my powerful army to kill those Rakshasas. Even Indra, king of heaven, use my army to fight the demons. I will personally come too. I have come for Ram. And only wrong. Nobody else. Eyelids from my eyes. But do not tear them away from me. Dashrat Maharaj, please do not give me silly reasons like a scared child. Will you or will you not give me Ram? No, it cannot be so. Please forgive me. Take me instead. I will protect your yagnas. How dare you! You have just betrayed the good name of King Harish Chandra. You promise anything, but when I ask for something, you refuse? Shame on you! I do not wish to stay in the presence of a hypocrite. I will leave. I hope you remain happy in your family life. Maharshi, please do not get angry. Mahamunishi Vashisht, what is this? 
Your advice has very little effect on your disciples. My dear Vishwamitra, Rama's beauty and qualities create such strong bonds of affection. Dasharat, do not worry. No harm can ever come to Rama as long as Vishwamitra is there to protect him. He only desires to take this as an excuse so he can train Rama the art of military warfare. Oh, great sage, please forgive my ignorance and my compassionate on us. You can take Rama and please take Lakshman with you also. Bring Rama and Lakshman. Please accept my humble obeisances, dear sage. Please accept my humble obeisances, dear father. Rama, Lakshman, I want you to go with Vishwamitra and follow his instructions. Yes, Father. Please accept my humble obeisances, Father. Ram Lakshman, wake up! It's time to perform your morning oblations. Ram Lakshman, today I will teach you the knowledge of Bala and Alibaba, by which you will be free from all hunger, tiredness, and sleep, and will be able to conquer all of your enemies. Om, Om, Om. Come, let us continue. Mother of Marichi and Subaku. Kill her at once, for when it is night, her power will increase much more. How is it possible for me to kill a woman? Ram, do not hesitate to kill her. She is a source of much disturbance. As I said earlier, kill her at once, for when night comes, her power will increase much more. We shall rest here for a while. Lakshman, please bring some fruits and berries for our guru. Yes, Rama. Ram, your talent archery is so good. I shall give you these invisible weapons, but I warn you, only use them when it is necessary. For ordinary mortals, do not use such weapons. I acquired these through great austerity. Mitra, we have been waiting for you. Everything is ready. The Ignis and Muni arrangements have all been made. We all can now proceed to start the Pias rituals for benefits of the mankind. We pray to God that He protects us from the demands. Let us begin immediately. Lakshman, we have to be vigilant. The sacrifice is about to start. Yes, brother. Om Trayam Bikam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vadanam Uravaru Kami Bandhanat Mrityor Mukshi Yamamritar Om Bhur Bhuvaha Swaha Tatsya Vitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodhayat Om Bhur Bhuvaha Swaha Tatsya Vitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodhayat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe 
सुगंधि पुष्टिवदन मुरवारुगमीव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीय मृता The sacrifice is successful and you have vanquished the demons. May you be blessed with a beautiful wife. Let us now go to Mithila, the kingdom of King Dana, where a test for winning over Sita is being performed for all the princes and warriors. Welcome everyone to the marriage contest. Whoever can lift this bow and string it can win the hand of Sita. As you all must know, Sita had no ordinary birth like us, but she was given to me by the demigods. Let the best man win. Begin! What is this? No one else wants to try? Where is your strength? Where is your courage and valor? You call yourself warriors? Is there no one among us who can lift this great bow? It seems there is no one qualified to marry my daughter. Well, I see we don't have any more Shatriyas left. What? How dare Maharajana speak like this in front of my Lord Ram? Does he not recognize a true warrior when he sees Ram? This stupid bow of his is like a trick for Ram. If Lord Ram gives me the permission, I pick up the bow and run around the world with it. Bring it here and I shall smash it to bits in front of you all. Then we'll see what King Janak has to say. Lakshman, please, we're only guests here. You say there is no one who can lift this, or well, I say there is Ravana, one who is blessed by Lord Shiva's benedictions, one who can conquer all the conquerors, one who can defy the demigods themselves, one who can drink the whole ocean, one who can defy the naked elements, I, Ravana, ha ha ha. I helped Lord Shiva carry Mount Kailash. What is this mere task of lifting this bow? God, please help us here. May Rama be able to lift this bow and string it. I accept him as my husband. If this desire is fulfilled, I am ready to go and live in forest for 14 years. Ram, I think you should now put everyone out of anxiety. Welcome, Parshu Rama. We are indeed honored at your presence here today. Who has dared to break the sacred bow? Why? What is wrong with that? That is Lord Shiva's sacred bow. Whoever broke it must die by the blade of my axe. Oh, great one. We did not know it was a sin to break it. Whether you knew it or not, you must still pay the price and die. Please be merciful on us. We seek your blessings on Rama's and Sita's wedding. Rama? Who is this Rama? I am the only one in this world to have this name, which belongs to Lord Vishnu. I broke the bow. So it was you. That's what I just said. How dare you speak to me like that? Prepare to meet your death. I think you should prepare to meet yours.
Vishwamitra, who is this miscreant who dares to raise his voice against I, the mighty Parshurama? Well, you will have a dead disciple now. Please forgive my brother. It was I who actually broke the bow. You! The contest was held for stringing the bow, and while I was stringing the bow, it broke. Well, then I shall kill you. Uh, uh, what's this? I can't lift my own axe? You must be someone special. Never had this ever happened to me. Here, lift the bow of Lord Vishnu. My lord, you're Vishnu. Please excuse my ignorance. Now that my mission is complete, I can always meditate on your form in the Himalayas. Jai Rama, Jai Rama. Hey lord, thank you for your mercy on me and blessing me with a good heart.